I'm going to break this tutorial into three steps. First, I'll walk through setting up the source comp for the glitter effect. Then I'll go over the main effect that creates the glitter itself. And finally, I'll show you a few custom extra touches to make your glitter sparkle. Let's jump in. All right, I'm inside of After Effects. I've got my text layer here ready to go. This is the font if you are interested in recreating. I'll link to it in the description down below. First thing I'm going to do is right click on my text layer and pre-compose and I'm going to name this text source and move all the attributes into the new composition. Now, the reason that I've done this is later on if I want to change what it says or maybe add a shape in to make that glittery instead, I can do that in this composition and then I can jump back here and all of the changes will update automatically. All right, so I'm just gonna make a few changes to my text. So if you are interested in recreating this exactly from the title, this is what I've done here. Just on my text layer, I've added this fill with a pink color. I've got a CC glass on here with these uh, details and I've added a drop shadow with this pink color as well. If you don't know how to add a drop shadow, you just right click on this layer, go to layer styles and drop shadow. I just didn't want to bore you with the details because this tutorial is not really about how to design the text. Okay, so next I want to recreate the glitter. So I'm going to go up to layer, I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to type in fractal noise for the name, press OK and then under effects and presets, I'm going to type fractal noise again and drop this fractal noise onto my solid. So recreating the glitter, just need to adjust a few of these slightly. So I'm gonna leave the fractal type at basic and change the noise type to linear. I'm gonna bring the contrast way up to about 1800, 1805 will do. And I'm gonna bring the brightness down to about minus 500, minus 511 is fine. I'm going to leave the transform as is. I'll drop into the sub setting and I'm going to bring this up to about 280. Then I'm going to sub, uh, bring the sub scaling up as well to 81. And finally, I'll just drag this complexity up to 20. Now I just want to add a little bit of movement. So on my evolution on the stopwatch, I'll just hold down alt while clicking this. And in this box, I'm going to type in time times 300, just adding an expression to the layer. It doesn't have to be 300 by the way, it could be 200, 100, even 20. Adjusting that number is going to adjust the speed, so play around with that. And playing through, you can see it's got that nice flickering, kind of glittery movement. All right, so I want to get my fractal noise showing up on my text layer, so I'm just gonna go to track mat and change this to text source. And then I'm going to switch this on and you still cannot see anything and that's because I need to change the mode on my fractal, la uh, fractal noise layer to screen. So this is looking pretty good. Next I'm gonna go to layer new and I'm gonna add an adjustment layer and I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in glow, drop this onto my adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna change the threshold radius and intensity. So I'll bring the threshold up to 85.9 Bring the glow radius up to 12 and the glow intensity up to 1.2. Right, so you've got your basic glitter set up. Now it's time to add some customization. And this is going to be a little bit different for every project. You might want it a bit more sparkly or brighter or anything like that. So this section is more about giving you ideas of some effects that you can put on from now to make it a little bit different. Just wanted to put that out there. I don't want anyone to feel like I'm being unclear with numbers or not showing them on the screen or anything like that. This is more about your project and customizing it for you. So um, you'll notice I've got a, on my adjustment layer, I've added a CC radio fast blur and a glow. So I'll just turn this off. If I reset this effect, it's just this intense blur coming out from the center. You can kind of move this around and it's going to change where that blur is coming from. It doesn't really look like it's doing much for your glitter, but if you change the zoom from standard to brightest, it's going to affect the brightest areas, which is actually very cool. And this is probably a bit too intense, but if you bring this down to like 15, you start getting that. It starts looking a little bit more like it should. Now I've also added another glow which with its settings is just adding a pink outline which is actually taking that from the text of course but that kind of brings up a point that anything that you put on this adjustment layer is, adjust is affecting the fractal and the text underneath. 
So you could actually, without um, adding anything more to the adjustment layer, instead add a glow to the fractal noise and then it will only be affecting the fractal itself. And there is one more effect that you could play around with and that's the cross blur. So I'm gonna drop this on. It's gonna kind of give more of the kind of star sparkle kind of look. I'll put it up to about two. It's nothing, just something kind of slightly giving more of a star and you know what? I'm gonna bring this glow above it and then you could really just like adjust the glow to kind of really pick it up yeah so as you can see I mean there's a lot of ways that you can do this like there's never one way in After Effects the key is to just like have fun and drop effects on there and see what they do make sure to check out this video right here to see what else you can do with an After Effects see you in the next one bye